Hello, my teacher, Mr. Nguyen, and everyone. I am Huyen Lung, Cambrian Class, Medicine Politics. And today, I'm going to talk about equality, gender equality in modern society. As we know, gender equality in the state of equal is of access to resources and opportunities regardless of gender, including economic participation and decision making, and the state of valuing different behaviors, inspirations, and needs equally regardless of male, female, or LGBTQ+. About my story, one of the most Greatest honor is being my mother's son. She is very, very wonderful woman. She has no unkindness to say. Always had joy and desire in her job. Always bring to others positive energy. However, my mother never got an opportunity to get an education because of the resentment of society about women. They never be recognized as intelligent and capable. Only the men were appreciated, had chance to go to school. The gap between men and women was a part this period. This is the reason why she always helps me to have much better life than her to have everyone. My mother always dreamed to be a doctor. However, she lost the borrow with the adjustment. If she had any opportunity, I make sure that she would be a great doctor. To be a doctor is not only my mother's dream, but also is my dream. However, in my high school, I never be recognized and appreciated. They say that you know you would never become a doctor in the future because of your sexual orientation. Can you guess my answer? I will answer it later. When I heard that question, I was at the birth of despair. Until there were many challenges and difficulties, I never gave up. Finally, I have become the first student in my high school in history, passing from the University of Medicine and Pharmacy. My university didn't limit me and my friends didn't discriminate me because I'm so different. My faculty, especially my mentor, didn't assume I would go less far because of my sexual orientation. This moment, I absolutely understand how fortunate I was I have my family who love me so much. My friends always support me, give me recommendations and advice. However, there are many important people in this world, my mother and other women, LGBTQ plus community. They have no voice, no chance. They have to worry about their days of their life. Struggle with parting just a very ordinary job to support their small family and face the discrimination day by day of life. They also have dreams and desires, are helpful and kind, they are intelligent and capable. If they have a chance, I think they will be a better doctor over me if they can stand here. They even talk about gender equality better than me. However, the adjustment and inequality limited them. It's time to trust people through their ability and moral instead of gender or sexual orientation. It's time to trust people through their wisdom instead of pace and body. It's time to stop the inequality and discrimination. Come back to the question that I received from Haskell. Did you know you would never become a doctor in the future because of your sexual orientation? In the past, my answer was I didn't know. But now, I can confidently answer that I can, and a person like me can as well. Finally, I will say both men and women should be free to be strong. Both men and women should be free to be sensitive. And what gender identity and sexual orientation you are deserve to be loved and recognized.